This is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. It is time to check in with Dr. Ole Olson from Central Iowa Neuropathy and find out how you can relieve your peripheral neuropathy pain. Dr. Olson, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic, Lou. How about yourself? We're doing great, and uh, we want to review some things that we learned last time that we visited about peripheral neuropathy and make sure I have a grasp on what this is. It sounds very frightening, but peripheral neuropathy is anything outside the brain and the spinal column. Is that correct? Uh, anything around that? Is that what peripheral neuropathy is? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Just damage to the nerves outside of the central nervous system. So the nerves going into your arms and hands, legs and feet, even into the organs. Right now, uh, see, you're a good teacher uh, because we retain that. That is really cool. But what are the causes of peripheral neuropathy? Yeah, that's a question we get all the time. Um, so the leading cause of peripheral neuropathy is diabetes. Um, the second most common type is chemo induced from going through cancer treatments. And the third type is actually what's called idiopathic. And that's just a fancy doctor word for we don't really know. Uh, okay. Within that, there's about 100 different categories. Um, anything from different uh, chemical exposures, there's a lot of uh, common medications, you know, statin drugs that can lead to neuropathy. Um, so we just kind of look for all the different things and try to leave no stone unturned when it comes to finding the cause of this for people. Now, would uh, this type of neuropathy, would it be caused by any kind of injury or anything like that? You can have traumatic uh, neuropathy for sure. Um, I actually just had a case yesterday who was in a, a severe car accident and had tra trauma to the nerve. And so that had created his uh, neuropathy. It's okay. not as common, but it definitely can occur for sure. All right. Now, what about ages? Uh, it, does it affect people of all ages, or are there a certain age group that you should be leery of? Yeah, absolutely. I, obviously, with peripheral neuropathy, most time we think of, of the older demographics, uh, but I've seen people in their uh, mid-20s that have had peripheral neuropathy as well. So it really can happen anywhere across the board. Um, so you definitely, it's just something to be aware of if you are experiencing any sort of symptoms to get checked out. All right, let's talk about those symptoms here and how can we distinguish between uh, peripheral neuropathy and maybe somebody just has something that isn't quite right? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. I mean, the, the hard thing with neuropathy is that it does mimic so many other things. And so really the only way to know is to get tested. Uh, the symptoms can range from uh, you know, sharp, electrical, stabbing, burning pain, uh, could be freezing cold, uh, could even just be more of like a numbness, tingling, kind of a dead or heavy feeling in the hands or feet. So uh, there's really all kinds of, of ways this can present. Even balance issues is a common one we see as well. So what I stress to people is, is the sooner you can catch this, uh, that not only is it easier to treat, but, but it actually prevents this from getting worse, which can lead to all sorts of other uh, really uh, negative issues down the road if you don't get it taken care of. Now, is this a type of pain or uncomfortable feeling that just all of a sudden comes on, or is it a gradual buildup? Uh, actually, either or, yeah. Uh, sometimes it's just kind of a gradual build. Well, they'll be developing it for 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, other times it can literally feel like it just comes on overnight. And so um, that's why I said, as soon as you start to notice uh, experiencing sort of these symptoms, call and get checked out right away. The sooner we can catch this, it gives us a better opportunity to help them not only stop the progression, but actually reverse back this nerve damage they've experienced. All right. Uh, how about we uh, give people some information about how they can learn about how you treat this condition and also a very special offer. What do you have for us today? Yeah, so we've got a, a, a couple seminars coming up here this next week. Um, basically, just a chance for people to come out and, and learn more about this condition to see if it might be something that they are, are dealing with or maybe a loved one is. Um, so we really just want to have this opportunity for the community to come out and learn more about neuropathy and, and what all it entails. And uh, we've actually, we're giving away my book free for the first 15 callers. Um, so you actually get a, a copy of my book, Reversing Neuropathy. Uh, which gives you a bunch of different ideas on things that we use to, to help manage this, this nasty disease. All right, let's get that uh, video up there, that screen up there, 505-3700-515 area code. So 515-505-3700, and this is going to be at your offices in Ankeny, correct? 
That's correct. All right, DC 210 Northeast Delaware Avenue, Suite 110 in Ankeny for Central Iowa Neuropathy. Dr. Ole Olson, thank you so much for your information. Thank you for your time and thank you for the very special offer. Thank you, Lou. Appreciate it.